what we also had was an IDE drive. And yes, how do you do IDE on an Amiga 1200? Gale. And you have this horrible, horrible IDE port which does PO mode zero and uh, doesn't even do that very well. <laughs> and we had that working and it really stuck <laughs> because it held the machine back. We had this machine which had a CPU which was running at incredible speeds, memory bandwidth, wow, disk bandwidth 1.5 megabytes per second. Ew. So at one point I basically said, nah, this is crap. Uh, this is going to be a whole lot of work, but we got to use the Linux IDE drivers. Linux knows how to do all these fancy chipsets that you get in PCs these days. I don't know it. Nobody in Amiga land really knows it. Half of the time you really can't get the documentation. Nobody will write the drivers if we don't use the existing ones. It took about two months to actually get it right. 